the value I got when we do, did the experiment. I got the 80 centimeter mark. Well, there can be small errors in the experiment. So that is the reason why we got the 80 centimeter mark. All right. Now, this kind of problems are typical in this section. So you must be very familiar with these kind of problems. The second part of the problem is we need to find out what mass has to be suspended from the 0.9 centimeter mark, from the 90 centimeter mark, so that the ruler will be in equilibrium. Let's start by saying let M be the mass that needs to be suspended from the 90 centimeter so that the meter roll will be in equilibrium. Now, when m grams is suspended from the 90 centimeter mark, what is the weight of that m gram? The weight of that m gram will be that m multiplied by g. g is 9.8, so that weight will be 9.8 m. The force acting down at the 90 centimeter mark equal to mg, that is 9.8 m. Now we take the torque of all the forces about the point A. Now you know how to take the torque of these forces. First of all, you know the torque of Mg about A is zero, and also the torque of Fn about an axis that passes through A is zero, because both these forces pass through that point. And the torque of 0.98 Newton about A is this distance, which is 0.5 minus 0.25 times 0.98, and that will be 0.245 meter Newton. We did all that in the previous case. Now, this is a counterclockwise torque, therefore it is positive. What is the torque of this force, 9.8 M about A? What is the torque arm? The torque arm is 0.9 minus 0.5. That is this distance. So it will be 0.9 minus 0.5, the torque arm, multiplied by the force. Force is 9.8 M. And this is a clockwise torque, which is therefore negative. So we have a positive torque, of 0.245 meter newton and a negative torque of how much? 0.9 minus 0.5 times 9.8 m. Using summation tau, add the torques 0.245 plus negative, that becomes minus 0.9 minus 0.5 times 9.8 m equal to zero. The two torques added should give you zero. And now distribute, you have 0.245 minus 0.9 minus 0.5 is 0.4, and 0.4 times 9.8 is 3.92. So 0.245 minus 3.92 m equal to 0 or m equal to 0 0.0625 kilogram it means in order to balance the ruler you need to suspend a mass of how many grams is this 62.5 gram from the 90 centimeter mark Okay, that again is a terribly important kind of problem. Before we proceed to the next problem, I want you to look at some of the steps that we are going to use in solving problems in conditions of equilibrium. Now, step number one is identify the point or object in equilibrium. Now, in the previous problem that we did, it was the object that was in equilibrium. Which object? The meter ruler. That, that's right. The ruler was in equilibrium under the action of several forces. Once you identify the object, 
then draw force vectors draw vectors to represent all the forces acting on the object that's what we did in the previous cases we represented all the forces by drawing force vectors now in some cases the force may not be in the proper y or proper x it may be at an angle like this that means you need to uh, resolve it as an x component and the y component so if a force is in an arbitrary direction making an angle theta with the x direction you need to write it in the component form or we say break it into x and y components and then mark all the distances why is it important to mark all the distances well in order to find the torque arm we need the distances so we have marked all the forces and now all the distances now apply the conditions of equilibrium first condition summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero and so on and form equations and then find the torque of all the forces about any convenient point any convenient point means any convenient axis and the point is the point through which the axis is passing and what is the convenience here the point you choose must be a point through which maximum number of unknown forces pass so that the torques of those forces about that axis will be zero and then use summation tau equal to zero to form another equation and then solve all the resulting equations for the unknown and these are the steps once you are able to use these steps you can solve any problem in conditions of equilibrium all right now those who particularly go for civil engineering this skill is very important because this is part of statics you will be doing a course called statics and you will start with these kind of problems so you must pay special attention to these problems let's try another problem a three meter diving board which has a mass of 25 kilogram is fixed at two supports one at one end and the other one meter from it if an 80 kilogram man is standing at the free end of the board find the reaction forces at the supports can you figure out how these the diving board is fixed it's not very difficult now this is how it's going to look these are the two supports and the diving board is fixed on these two supports well one is at the at one end and the other is one meter from it and at the end of the diving board you have a man standing and what are you supposed to find you need to find the reaction forces at the two supports in other words what are the forces acting on this diving board by the supports and that is what we need to find I have a diagram of that diving board we got the two supports and the diving board the diving board is in equilibrium under the action of several forces can you tell me some of the forces well the first thing you should consider is the weight of the diving board now a three meter diving board which has a mass of 25 kilogram the mass is 25 kilogram therefore what is the weight the weight of 25 kilogram is 25 times 9.8 that is 245 newtons the weight of the diving board is 25 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second squared that is 245 newton acting vertically down at the point c 
The weight of the man. There is a man standing here. There is the man. And his mass is 80 kilogram. His weight will be 80 kilogram times 9.8 meter per second squared. And that is 784 newton acting vertically down. So that is another force acting on the diving board. Can you tell me what other forces will be acting on the diving board? Well, the supports will be exerting force on the diving board. Now, do you know in what direction will those forces be? Well, we will assume that the reaction forces at both supports are directed upward. Let R1 be the reaction on the left support, so that's R1. And let R2 be the reaction force at the second support. Now, you have now seen the diving board has been identified as the object in equilibrium under the action of all these forces. Now go back and have a look at the steps that we developed. Identify the object or point in equilibrium. Here it is the object that is the diving board is in equilibrium under the action of all these forces. What is the next thing to do? Well, mark all the points. We said R1 acts through A, so this is the point A. R2 acts through B, that is the point B. And 245 Newton is at C, and the man is standing at the point D. So mark all the relevant points so that we can now identify the forces from the points. And now, now we mark the distances of the forces from the point A. Now you know that the diving board is 3 meter long. That means the distance from point A, remember A is the left end. The distance from A to C is 1.5 meter. What is the distance from A to B? Is 1 meter that is given. Alright, let's do that. The distance from A to D is 3 meter. That is the length of the diving board. The distance from A to C is 1.5 meter, half the length of the diving board. The distance from A to B is 1 meter. That is given to us that the supports are 1 meter apart. Now, all these forces are Y forces, isn't it? There are two forces in the positive Y direction two forces in the negative y direction so we are going to use this condition summation f y equal to zero all right can you give me that equation summation f y equal to zero adding all the y forces give you zero it'll be r1 plus r2 minus 245 minus 784 equal to zero and that is one equation and we can write it like this R1 plus R2 equal to 1029 this is our first equation and there are two unknowns R1 and R2 so we need to look for another equation now where is that second equation going to come from we used the Y forces are there any X forces on the diving board no, there are no forces in the x-direction. So now, what we need to do is take the torques of all these forces about any convenient point. Means, about any convenient axis that passes through any of these points. A, B, C, or D. Now tell me, which of these points is convenient for us. What is the definition of convenience I gave you? The most convenient point about which you can take the torque of the forces is the point through which maximum number of unknown forces pass through. 